So today we're going to start on our backs. So go ahead and come on our backs. Good. Lie down. And let's go ahead and place one hand over the belly and one hand over the heart. And just start those deep Ujjayi breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Start to feel the vibration of the breath flow through all parts of the body. Start to feel this sense of peace and calmness just kind of flow through the body. Really try to focus on your breath throughout your entire practice, right? Our breath is just one of our anchors that we can come back to if that mind starts to wonder. And I don't know about you guys, but with everything going on, my mind has been very scattered brained. So my breath has been such a blessing to me to bring me back into the present moment. One of my teachers would say the quality of your breath is the quality of your life. So breathe deeply tonight, yogis. Allow yourself to stay present. And remember to try to find the ease in each pose. I'm going to definitely challenge you tonight, but I'm also going to give modifications. So please listen and honor your body tonight, whatever it is that you feel you need. You can always add a little bit something in some parts, take away a little bit. But remember, child's pose, Shavasana is always available to you. Take a break when you need it. I'm just here to guide you tonight. Let's take about three more deep breaths. And as we breathe deeply, go ahead and set an intention, an affirmation, giving yourself that positive mindset right from the start of your practice. Beautiful. One more deep breath in. Nice. Let's go ahead and hug those knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. If you can, give yourself a little kiss on the left knee and the right knee. Good. Already showing some self-love here this evening. Rock it side to side. Massage that lower spine. All right, so today we're gonna to do something a little different. I don't normally do this, but let's go ahead. We're gonna start with some core work here. So go ahead and place the feet onto the mat, knees are bent, hands come behind the back. Good, we're gonna crunch it up. Just little crunches for 10, keep the elbows back. Eight, press the navel towards the spine. Seven, six, good, five, Four, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and bring the knees to tabletop and bicycle it out. Lead with the shoulder here. Try not to let the hips rock. Really, it's all about the lengthening in the leg. So really extend. We have eight, six, five, four more. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and extend the legs out. Good, I'm gonna give you two options. So we're gonna take little crunches here, working those lower abdominals. You can keep the legs down. If you want more of a challenge, you hover the legs like you're in a low boat. Good, we have eight, seven, six, five, Four, shoulders down away from the ears. Three, two, and one. Hug the knees into the chest. Whew. All right, so we're done. No, I'm just kidding. 
And that, that's what I kind of like doing because I feel like I'm done for the day. All right, so let's go ahead and start rocking and rolling. Good. And once you get a couple and a little momentum, go ahead and find your rag doll here. Good, so feet are about hip distance. Go ahead and grab opposite elbows and just sway side to side. Ah, deep breaths, trying to hollow out that belly. So scoop the belly up and in on that exhale. Maybe shift forward a little bit, shift back, and then go ahead and find the grounding in all four corners of the feet. Beautiful. Let's take one more breath. And then go ahead and plant the hands down. We're going to step back into our downward facing dog. Good. So there's an external rotation in those arms. I press away from the mat. So my shoulders are lifted away from the ears. Right? The shoulder blades, the scapulas, we're trying to find that protraction, the separation of the scapulas. And then just start to move here, yogis. Bend the knees right and left, moving organically, whatever you need to, to open up. Beautiful. And then find the stillness here. We're going to inhale that right leg up high. Ground through that left heel, rotate out the top ankle, but then notice that the elbow started to buckle. Refirm those elbows, strengthen the arms, press away from your mat. And then bend that right knee, stack the hips, take the gaze underneath the right shoulder. Breathe. Good. For two. And one. Beautiful. Extend that right leg back up. Square the right hip off. Let's go ahead and bring that leg through for our runner's lunge. Left knee drops down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Good, here's our first hip flexor stretch for those of you that requested that. <laughs> so press into the hip, but I want you to hug the ribs in here, right? Try to find a neutral spine. So it's almost like you're pressing the left knee into the mat and maybe tucking that tailbone under just slightly. Take your gaze up, breathe. And then we're gonna take our hands down, frame that front foot. We're gonna inhale, lift up, shine the heart. So I may need to lift my fingertips off the mat. Exhale, we're gonna rock it back, half Hanumanasana split. Inhale, shift forward, heart forward. Exhale, shift back. Beautiful, one more. Inhale, shift forward, heart forward. Exhale, shift back, hold the stretch here. So try to pull this right thigh bone back, squeeze inner thigh, square the hips off. Inhale, lift, and then exhale. See if you can surrender down. Get deep into those nice, yummy hamstrings. Beautiful. Let's take the hands to the inside. Bend back into that knee. Heel toe that foot out. Curl the back toes under. We're going to rock it up into our Malasana pose. Yogi squat. We're going to get nice and deep into those hips right from the start. So breathe through it, smile. Try to lengthen through the crown of the head. Close the eyes and allow yourself to feel. So important. We have our emotions are running all around right now. So allow yourself to feel these emotions. Cry, get angry, feel what you need to feel, but then try to let them go. Don't hold on to that. That's what keeps us from, from self-transformation, right? Beautiful. Let's take the hands down, walk it back into plank pose. Good. So we're going to do a little plank passe, but so let's find that protraction. So notice how my upper back is nice and rounded. Drop the tailbone, scoop the belly up in it. Take the right knee to the right, tricep and tap and back. We have four, three. Two, one. Nice, take your chaturanga, up dog, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Ah, breathe. Let's inhale the left leg up high, ground through that right heel, rotate out the top ankle. Again, wrap the arms, press away from the mat. You're strong through the arm, so strong. Bend the left knee, sack the hip, take the gaze underneath the left shoulder. Breathe into that left side of the body. And then inhale that left leg up high, square that left hip off. Let's bring it through runner's lunge. Right knee drops down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Again, slight little tuck here. Press into that knee. Pull up through the pelvic floor. Energy through the fingertips. Good. We're going to take a little rocky lizard. So hands come down to frame the foot. Inhale, lift the heart. Maybe fingertips lift off the mat. Exhale, rock it back. Good. Inhale, shift forward, heart forward, smile, open. Exhale, shift back. Good. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, shift forward, heart forward. Exhale, shift back. Hold it here. Again, pull this left thigh bone back so the hips are nice and square. Squeeze inner thighs and then see if you can surrender down. Breathe. Beautiful. Take the hands to the inside. Bend into that left knee. Heel toe that left foot out. Curl the back toes under. Second set yogi squat. We're just getting deep into those hips, guys. So breathe. See if you can lift a little taller here. Those of you that maybe want to add a, a twist or a bind on each side, you have about four breaths. Beautiful. Plant the hands down. Step back into your plank. Find that strong plank pose. Firm into the arms. Left passe. So left knee, left tricep. Tap. Squeeze into that oblique for four, three, two, one. Chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Beautiful. Tiptoe, top of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Straight spine, super important. If you find yourself rounding here, it's okay to take your hands onto the shin and find that lengthening through the spine. Let's do one more. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. If you have not started the playlist, feel free to do so now. Find that Tadasana mountain pose, lengthen through the crown of the head. Draw those shoulder blades down the back. Close your eyes here. This is the foundation, this pose right here, for all of our other asana poses. So notice the stacking of the spine, shoulders, hips, pelvis, right? Noticing the lengthening through the crown of the head. We try to achieve this in all of our other asana poses. We try to achieve stillness, balance, right? So breathe through this. Good, and then let's open the eyes, yogis. Let's start some flips. Here we go. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, flat back, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, right leg comes back. Right knee drops down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands come down. Left foot meets the right into your plank. Shift forward, chaturanga, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg up high. Exhale, bring it through, runner's lunge. Left knee drops down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands come down. A little different, we're gonna rock it up. Left foot meets the right top of the mat. Inhale, lift up, halfway straight spine. Don't forget, exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful, let's keep that going, yogis. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, left leg comes back. Left knee drops down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands come down. Right foot meets the left into your plank. Shift forward, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up high. Exhale, swing it through. Runner's lunge, right knee drops down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands come down, rock it up. Right foot meets the left, top of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, full. Inhale, root to rise. Press the hips back when you rise. Hands to heart center. We're building that heat. Let's take a couple more. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands down. Step, hop, or float. Chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Give me two strong breaths here. Feet together, look at the top of your mat. Bend the knees. Step, hop, or float. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, full. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's go again. Deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands down. Step, hop, or float. Chaturanga, up dog, or cobra. Exhale, downward facing up. All right, let's drop down to the knees, have a seat on the heels. This is something that I want to introduce to you. It's kind of new. Again, it's just an option. So we're going to bring the knee into the nose. Just watch first. Right leg lifts. I'm going to shift forward knee to nose. And then I'm going to swing this leg up and hop. Knee to nose. Swing this leg up and hop. You don't have to catch any airtime. Just hop. Okay? Here we go. Let's find our down dog. Maybe try one, see how you do. <laughs> you never know unless you try. Inhale, the right leg up high. Shift forward, knee to nose. Inhale, leg up, hop. Good, let's bring it back, knee to nose. Inhale, lift up, hop. One more, shift forward, knee to nose. Inhale, lift up, hop. Beautiful, right leg through, crescent lunge. Did we make it? Kind of, yeah? <laughs> All right, so on the other side, if you didn't like that hop, just take it out. So find that neutral spine. There's a slight tuck of that tailbone. We're gonna find straight spine. Think of that mountain pose. Relax the shoulders. Breathe. Nice, take a deep breath in. Exhale, we're gonna thunderbolt. So send the arms back. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Engage the triceps here. Take those thumbs up towards the ceiling. Pull this right thigh bone around and back. Squeeze inner thighs. Breathe. You can do this. This is part of breathing through the fire. This is not a super easy pose. So try to remain calm. Beautiful. Inhale, arms up. Drop the back heel. We're coming into Skandasana pose. So I can stay up high here to like, just like a side runner's lunge. If I can come all the way down, bring your hands to heart center. Flex the right toes, press the toes back. Maybe you open up here, maybe you bind. Wherever you're at, commit to it, be proud of it, and breathe for three reps. Last breath. Beautiful, release wherever you are. Walk it over, back up into that crescent lunge. Find balance here first, then we're gonna water wheel. Left arm forward, right arm back. Hi. <laughs> Squeeze inner thighs. Ignite, I like to really spread my fingertips. Drop the back arm down, front arm reaches up and back. Lengthen. Beautiful. Two. One. 
Windmill it down, take a flow, yogis. Whatever that looks like for you. Meet in down dog. Ah, beautiful, let's come into the other side. We have that hop, you can take it out. Inhale, left leg up high. Shift forward, knee to nose, round the spine. Inhale, lift the leg up, hop. Good, knee to nose, round the spine. Inhale, lift the leg up, hop. Beautiful, one more, knee to nose. Inhale, lift the leg up, hop. Beautiful, bring it through, crescent lunge. A little easier on that side, yeah? <laughs> nice job, I can feel some of you guys hop in there. I know some of you got it. Relax the shoulders, breathe. Good, take a deep breath in. Exhale, let's thunderbolt. Send the arms back, charge the crown of the head forward, squeeze the triceps. Press into that front foot, but pull this right thigh bone back. Squeeze inner thighs. Try to remain calm. Where's your anchor? What are you using to bring yourself back to the present moment? Inhale, arms up. Drop the back heel, skandasana pose to the back of the mat. Remember, I can stay up nice and high right here and just hold. If you're coming into the full expression, maybe you open up. Right arm forward, left arm up, maybe you bind. Again, whatever you take, commit, be proud, breathe. Beautiful. Let's place the hands down, walk it over, back to that front foot, back up to crescent lunge, find balance when you're ready as you exhale, water wheel, right arm forward, left arm back. Keep squeezing in the thighs. Take the back arm down, front arm reaches up and back. Good, high on that back toe, you can do it, we're almost there. And then windmill it down, take a flip. Beautiful. Strong breath. Let's go ahead and look at the top of your mat, bend the knees, step, pop, or float. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, let's keep that energy going. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, flat back forward, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, straight spine. Don't forget, hands plant down, step, hop back, take a foot. I'm gonna switch it up here. Let's inhale the left leg up high. Exhale, bring it through warrior two. Nice. So remember your front heels in line with the middle of the back foot. Most important, this knee is open, right? And I'm not tracking that knee over the toes. Find center here, find balance. Gaze is over the front fingertips. Breathe. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring it down to side angle. Remember, you can stay up nice and high here if you'd like. Maybe take it a little bit deeper. I'm gonna give you the option to take it even deeper here in a moment, but let's stay here connected for two breaths. Now, if you wanna add a little challenge, Hug the ribs in, that's most important first. Scoop the belly in. Hover the left fingertips an inch above the mat. Beautiful. Then start to reach this left arm forward and then bring this top arm to meet it like you're hugging a beach ball, right? A nice big beach ball. Deep breath in. 
and then exhale, reverse. Drop the back arm down, front arm reaches up and over. Lift out of the waist, don't collapse into that side, that lower lumbar spine. Straighten the front leg as you exhale, trikonasana, triangle pose. One of my favorite words to say, trikonasana. <laughs> All right, so if you want that challenge here, we're going to take it. If not, just stay. Again, arms extend out. Notice how my spine is straight. I'm not here. Open up. Hug that beach ball. Yes, breathe. Breathe. Nice. Bring it back up, warrior two. Let's take goddess pose. So turn to the right. Turn the feet out. And then reach the arms overhead. Open up. If you came to bar yesterday, I'm sorry. We're going to just do a little pulses. Strengthen those hips. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, three, two, one. Back to warrior two. Windmill it down, frame the front foot. Drop the right knee down. Option to take dragon or lizard pose here. You can stay high on the hands. You can come onto the forearms. You can reach that back leg up, or you can take flying lizard, reach for the back foot. Get a nice little quad stretch here. Breathe into it for three breaths. Nice, slowly release. Press yourself back up, heel toe that left foot and find your down dog. Now we're gonna take a flow, but we're gonna maybe add a running man into our flow. If you don't know what that is, just take a regular flow. <laughs> Inhale, left leg up high. If you're taking the arm balance, left knee to the left tricep, lie it out here, balance. And then back to plank, up dog. Beautiful, downward facing dog. I can feel, Jody. did you get that? I felt it, I felt it. <laughs> Let's inhale the right leg up high. Exhale, bring it through warrior two. I'm gonna turn this way a little bit. Nice. Oh, breathe, yogis. We're sweating. I turned the heat on in the studio, so I'm doing my hot yoga. <laughs> nice job. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, take it into that side angle. Remember, you can stay high on that thigh or take it down. Left arm reaches up. Take your knees up if it's available to you. Now, stay here if you want to add that challenge. Hug the ribs in. Hover the right fingertips an inch above the mat. And then start to bring that bottom arm forward. Top arm to meet it. You're hugging that beach ball. You're straight in the spine. You're hugging those ribs in to protect the core. One more breath. And then reverse. Drop that arm back. Reach that front arm up and back. Beautiful. Straighten that front leg. Trikonasana triangle pose. Breathe. Nice, if you wanna add that challenge one more time, you're gonna lift the arms up again, hug that beach ball, really send energy through the arms, through the fingertips, you can do it. One more breath. Nice, and then back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg, turn to the left for your Goddess pose. Nice. And then from here, we're actually gonna fold forward. So straighten the legs, turn the toes inward. Hands come out to the side, deep breath in. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. This time, yogis, if you want to invert here, feel free to invert. If not, you're just holding the stretch. If you're holding the stretch, get those hips over the ankles. Inhale, 
If you're inverted, start to make your way back down. Good, inhale, lift up halfway. Walk it over to that right foot. Frame that right foot, runner's lunge. Left knee drops down. Again, find your dragon pose here. If you want to take it into that flying lizard, reach back. Whatever you took on the other side, just try to balance it out and breathe. And one more breath. Beautiful, slowly release, press it back up. Heel toe this right foot towards the middle. Downward facing dog. We're gonna take a flow. If you wanna take that running man, inhale the right leg up high. Right knee, right tricep. Send it out, fly. Good, and then hop back, chaturanga, up dog. Downward facing dog. Beautiful, let's look at the top of your mats. Bend the knees, step, pop, or float. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Close the eyes. Let's just pause for a moment. Reconnecting, bringing that rhythm of the breath and connecting it with the rhythm of the heartbeat. Slow the fluctuation of the mind. Calm everything down. Beautiful, let's continue. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, Uttakasana, chair pose. So press the hips back, squeeze the inner thighs, strong in the arms. Good. Then maybe see if you can sit back a little bit deeper. Bring the hands to heart center. We're gonna twist to the right. So left elbow to the outside of that right knee, press through the palm. So here's a little trick in twists. Anytime you lean back in the twist, it straightens out the spine for you, <laughs> okay? So lean back in the twist, press through the palms, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let's inhale the arms up. Exhale, right arm underneath the left. We're gonna step out with the right leg to a squat. Then we're gonna take this right leg over, find your eagle pose. So concentrate here, relax the shoulders, sit back like you're in a chair. Find something in front of you to focus on, concentrate, you can do it. One more breath. Beautiful, release, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step hopper float, take a float. Chaturanga, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. So we're coming into our wild thing. Let's take the right leg up high. Right knee crosses over to that left tricep. Drop the back heel, extend the right leg, slide it out, open it up. Ooh, breathe. Left hand comes down, right arm sweeps up high to the sky. Exhale, bring it through, warrior one. Back foot's drop down to that 45 degree angle. I'm pressing through the outer edge of the back foot. Left hip squares forward, right hip squares back, reach. Beautiful, let's clasp the hands behind us. Inhale, straighten the front leg. 
We're coming into pyramid pose. So maybe adjust that back foot in. Lift up through the heart. Exhale, slow and control, fold forward. See if you can bring those arms overhead. If it's too much, just release the arms down. Pull that right hip back, left hip forward. If you clasp the hands down, release revolving trikonasana. Left hand down, right arm reaches up. Hello. <laughs> Smile. Let's give each other a little yogi high five. Ghost high five. Air high five. Yay. Love you guys. Miss you so much. Breathe here. Let's take our gaze down. I'm going to walk my fingertips forward, launch it up, revolving half moon. Here's where we're going to get a little crazy, so stay with me. You can do it, all right? Let's go ahead and come into standing split or needle pose. Those of you that want to practice your handstand hop-ups, Feel free, you have about three breaths. If not, just find this nice stretch. Good, one more breath. Beautiful, take that top leg, drop it down, revolving crescent. Left hand down, right arm reaches up. Beautiful. So I'm going to give you options. You have option to stay here. You have the option to come into side plank. Or if you want to, we're going to add on, we're going to flip the dog. So drop the back heel, take this top leg, open it up, flip, but we're not going to stay here. Just listen. I'm going to drop the hips down. Reach this right foot for the left toe. Stretch. Beautiful. Inhale, press it up. Exhale, drop it down, right hand to the left toes, stretch. One more, inhale. Exhale, drop it down, tap the toes, the piggies. Inhale, lift. Exhale, flip it back over into a crescent knee once again. Ah, did we make it? Yes, I think we did. Let's come back to that half monkey split. Beautiful. Now we already warmed up with this. We're here again. Those of you who have splits in your practice, take it. We don't have blocks. Maybe some of you do. You can put a block under, but if you don't, just stay here if you don't feel comfortable doing a split. If you're ready, you're gonna extend the leg out. Good. Close the eyes, just breathe. Again, be proud for wherever you're at in your practice. One more breath. Beautiful. If you're in that half monkey split, go ahead and re-bend back into that knee and find down dog, take a flip. If you're in your split, you can curl the back toes under. Try to lift, 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 and then come into Chaturanga, Up Dog, or Cobra. Or really, however you can get into Down Dog, just go there. <laughs> but it doesn't matter how we get into a pose. What matters is that we end there and we connect all back at the same pose. That's what's great about it, right? All right, let's go ahead and look at the top of your mat. Bend the knees, step, hop, or flip. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, we have the other side. Hope you didn't forget. Here we go. Deep breath in. Exhale, Uttakasana, chair pose. Ha. <laughs> Strong in the arms. Let's see, how are we doing in our chair poses? Can I get a thumbs up? Thumbs up, chair poses, yay. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and come hands to heart center. We're gonna twist to the left. 
Right elbow to the outside of the left knee, press through the palms, lean back in the twist. You can do this. Beautiful. Inhale, back to center, all the way up. Exhale, left arm comes underneath the right. Step it out with the left leg, take a squat. And then wrap this left leg around the right, eagle pose, find your strong eagle, fly, soar. Feel invincible. <laughs> Beautiful, release, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands down, step, hopper, float, take a float, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra, downward facing dog. All right, coming back into that wild thing or falling triangle. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Left knee to right tricep. Drop the back heel, slide this left leg out, open it up. Breathe. Right hand comes back down. Inhale, left leg up high. Exhale, bring it through, warrior one. Drop the back heel, inhale, sweep the arms up. Relax the shoulders, square hips off. So left hip pulls back, right hip forward. Beautiful, let's clasp the hands behind us. We're gonna straighten that front leg. Remember, we're coming into pyramid, so maybe adjust the back foot in. Good, inhale, lift up, shine that heart. Exhale, hinge forward, pyramid pose. Again, if this is too much on the hamstrings, just release the hands down. Beautiful, release. Right hand down, left arm reaches up, revolving triangle. Again, we're in this twist, so remember that little key. Lean back in the twist to straighten out the spine. Take your gaze down, take your fingertips forward. Take a little lift as you lift it up to revolving half moon. And then take it into that standing split or needle pose. Those of you that want to practice your handstand kickups, feel free. You have about three breaths. Beautiful, top leg drops down, find your revolving crescent. Right hand down, left arm reaches up. We're in a twist, again, lean back, right? Practice that. Now you have options, stay here, option one. Option two, drop the back heel, find your side plank. Option three, we're taking this leg, flip it over, flip your dog, lift up, but remember we're not staying. Exhale, drop the hips, left fingertips touch the right toe. Inhale, press back up. Exhale, drop the hips, reach for that toe, or maybe ankle or shin, whatever. Lift up, exhale, tap. Beautiful, lift up, last time, flip it back, left leg comes forward, runner's lunge. Right knee drops down, half monkey splits. Nice job guys, working hard. Breathe. Again, maybe you stay here, maybe you come into your full splits. 
Don't judge or analyze one side from the other. Just breathe. Connecting with yourself. Connecting with the breath. This truly is the most intimate we get to be with ourselves. Mind, body, connection. Beautiful. Now we're going to take another flow. So if you're in your split, find your down dog. <laughs> if you're in half monkey, bend back into that knee. Find your down dog. Take a flow. Find your child's pose here. Drop the hips. Extend the arms. Breathe. Enjoy this moment. Beautiful. Go ahead and press up. We'll swing the legs in front of you. We're going to come into our bridge and wheel series. I always add bridge and wheel to my practice because it's just so beneficial for the spine. It's an open heart. I love when my heart is open because <laughs> if you know me, it's usually always open. <laughs> but it just feels even more amazing. We're gonna all start in bridge first. I like us to stay connected for the first one. So arms by your side, heels close to the glutes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, press the hips up. Try to press through all four corners of the feet. If you can, maybe try to clasp the hands. Take the shoulders underneath the back. Press up even higher, there we go. Maybe one more little inch, you can do it. Hold it here, squeeze inner thighs as if you have a block in between them. And then one more breath right here. Slowly release it down, one vertebrae at a time. Let's windshield wiper the knees once to the right, once to the left. We have three sets, so if you want to take that again, feel free. If you're coming up into wheel with me, here we go. Deep breath in. Exhale. Press it up. Strong, 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 strong in the arms. Press the chest forward. If you're in your wheel, try to evenly distribute the weight in, into the hands and feet. One more breath. Slowly release it down. Let's windshield wiper the knees once to the right, once to the left, third and final set. Here we go. Don't think about it, just do it. Deep breath in, exhale, press it up. You can do it, Yogi. Beautiful, slowly roll it down. Let's hug that right knee into the chest, left leg extend. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then take the right knee over to the left, gazes over the right shoulder for a nice little spinal twist. This should feel good since we just did all those back bends. Breathe into that right side. One more breath. Beautiful. Hug that right knee back into the chest. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then exhale, release. Just pause here for a moment. Observe. Beautiful. 
forward. Let's hug the left knee into the chest. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then left knee crosses over to the right. Gazes over the left shoulder. Breathe. And then let's go ahead and hug that left knee into the chest. Nice. Hug the right knee into the chest. Grab underneath the legs. Roll up to seated. All right. So from here, yogis, we're going to take a new stretch. We're going to extend the legs out in front of us. And it's not together and it's not in a straddle. Let's say a little bit wider than hip distance. All right. Just watch first, because it can maybe get a little confusing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my right arm and cross it over to the left toes. Then from here, I'm going to take this back arm up and over, reach for the right toes. And then I'm going to try to bend and spiral underneath that left shoulder. Now, if reaching for the right toes is not available to you, Take the left hand behind the head and open up through the left side, okay? So if you're with me, here we go. If you found it, great. Taking the right hand to the left toes. Left arm reaches up and over. See if you can grab the right toes and then see if you can spiral underneath. If it's not available to you, take the left hand behind the head, open up. We have three breaths. Beautiful. Slowly release, come up, come up. Ha. That felt all good, right? Yeah? All right. Let's go ahead and take the other side. Left arm reaches for those right toes. Right arm reaches up and over. Maybe see if you can grab the left toes and then pull yourself underneath the right shoulder. If it's not available to you, right hand behind the head. Spiral that right elbow open. Breathe it here for three breaths. You should feel this stretch on the right side of the back, the right side of the body, and maybe into the right side of that hip. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and release. Ah, nice job. So let's just go ahead and flip it over. We're going to face the back of our mat. It's okay. All right. So we're going to take our shoulder stretch here. We're going to take the left arm out to the side first. Now, I highly encourage you to try to find that goal post in the arm so your arm's in like a 90 degree angle. If you can take this, stay here. If you start to not feel it, it also helps to walk the hand up a little bit. If that's just not your thing, you can keep the arm straight. We're going to roll onto this left hip as I take my right foot behind the left leg. You should feel this stretch in the shoulder. If your arm is bent, you should feel it a little in that left pec. One more breath. Nice. Slowly roll back over onto your bellies, right ear to the mat, arms by your side. Just observe. Exhale. 
And then when you're ready, let's come to the other side. Right arm extends or 90 degree angle. Roll onto that right hip. Your left leg comes behind that right leg. I prefer to have a block here to kind of straighten out the neck with the spine. If you have a pillow or a towel, maybe just kind of bring it underneath the neck. You can also place your hand maybe into a fist, prop it up. It's just nice to have a nice little neck and spine alignment. I have suffered with neck issues my whole life with disc. So I always am looking for ways to help alleviate any neck pain. One more breath. Good. Let's go ahead and roll back onto the bellies. Arms by your side, left ear to the mat, just observe. Nice, let's just from here, roll onto our backs. I know we're doing a lot of rolling here, that's okay. <laughs> and then let's go ahead and finish off with lying down pigeon. So cross the right leg over the left, bend the left knee and pull the legs towards the chest, but you want somewhat of an opposition in the stretch. So even though I'm pulling my knees in, I wanna press that tailbone down, right? That's where I'm gonna really start to feel that stretch. Good, hold it there for about four breaths. Three breaths. Take one more breath. Beautiful. Release the left leg. We're going to take half of a happy baby. So reach for the outside of that right foot. Take that right knee out to the side. Let's have a little activation with that left foot. So point, excuse me, left leg. Point through the left foot. Breathe. Go ahead and release the foot. Let's go ahead and take lying down pigeon, other side. Left knee crosses over like a figure four chair pose. Hug the knees in as you press that tailbone down. Find the opposition in the stretch. Relax the upper body, relax the shoulders. More breath. Beautiful. Release the right leg down. Half of a happy baby. Reach for the outside of that left foot. Bend the knee. Let it fall out to the side. Activation in the right leg. Point through the right toes. Go ahead and release the left leg down. 
We're going to find our final resting pose, Shavasana, and I so encourage you guys to stay, right? With all the chatter in the mind going on right now, this is what we truly need, is this peace, this stillness, right? So if you're following along with the playlist, Go ahead and find the very last song just before I sleep. I'm going to stay seated, but feel free to come onto your backs. Remember, everything we just did was warm up for this pose right here. So relax the jaw by parting those lips, soften the breath, feel the eyes become heavy as they start to just fall into the back of the head. See if you can release that tongue from the roof of the mouth and let it fall into the back of the throat. No more thinking, no more doing, just allowing yourself to be in this moment, right here, right now. to wiggle fingers and toes. Start to deepen that breath, bringing your awareness back into your body and back into the room. 
When you're ready, maybe stretch those arms overhead. If you're on your back, hug your knees into the chest. Gently roll over to your right side. Keep your eyes closed here, Yogi. And then when you're ready, gently press yourself up to a comfortable seated position, keeping those eyes closed, hands softly on the knees, lengthening through the crown of the head, feeling proud of whatever you accomplished today here on your mat. So you don't have to prove to others that the path we have chosen is the right one for us. We need only to know it ourselves, but always bear in mind, it's not necessarily right for others. So let's go ahead and inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Thank you so much, everyone, for sharing your practice with me this evening. Always remember to love unconditionally, live intentionally, and laugh and smile each and every day. And the divine in me honors the divine in each and every one of you. And together we say, namaste. <sighs> Thank you so much, yogis. Love you. Have a great evening. Great job. <laughs> Bye, Danny. Bye, Brittany. Thank you.